Hey everybody, happy Thursday. It's December 8th, 2016, and I wanted to share with you a, a quick message about doing what works for you. Do what works for you. I recently wrote a book called Reach Your Mountaintop, 10 Keys to Finding the Hidden Opportunity in Your Setbacks, Flipping What You've Heard on Its Head, and Achieving Legendary Goals. I featured 28 world-renowned experts in the book who I was able to connect with either in person, face-to-face, -face, via the phone, or one of the 28 was via email. Most of them were in person or over the phone. And obviously, I got a lot of different insights about some really useful tactics to define your own version of success, to get to your next level, to transcend obstacles, become a better leader, and move forward in your life in ways that you previously did not believe to be fathomable. There's a core message from the book that I wanted to share with you today, and that is to do what works for you. A lot of these success experts that I talked to shared that they apply a variety of strategies in their own life and do what works for them. For example, I'm really productive in the evenings. A lot of gurus out there, or so-called gurus, and by the way, there's no disrespect here, I'm not putting anyone down because there's a lot of good content out there, you have to, and this is the whole point, you have to do what works for you. But a lot of gurus will tell you, and this is the point I'm making, that successful people must be productive in the mornings. That's not me. Yes, I'm working on getting up a little bit earlier, maybe exercising in the morning, but my most productive times are typically in the evening. For example, if I don't have time to work out in the morning, I'll work out in the evening. If I don't have time to write in the morning, I will write in the afternoon or the evening. So that works for me. Do what works for you. When you're reading a book, listening to a podcast, uh, listening to a book on Audible, perhaps you're uh, talking to someone who's giving you some great advice, take it all in, but remember to do what works for you. I love how a lot of these experts were saying, yes, there are certain principles that you have to live by, but ultimately, you must define your own version of success and do what works for you. I can't emphasize this enough because a lot of people out there will say you have to do X, Y, Z to be successful and that's not really the case. Yes, there are certain universal principles to live by such as treating others respectfully, being disciplined, living a life of love and peace. With that said, when you're getting all these different insights, methods and tactics, when you're in the personal development space, when you're learning, when you're growing, apply what works for you discard the rest. Use your intuition to know what works for you, what makes sense, and what doesn't.